Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Otisonda and in this video I'm going to show you why your AMD iFinity triple screen does not work. So basically, one thing that I encountered when I first got my triple screen set up was, what? Why is my third screen not working? Why have I only got two screens that actually display anything? And actually you could kind of swap them around, you could swap around the adapters and try and get different ones working at different times. But at the end of the day, only two out of the three would work and I really was stumped. Well, it's basically on the back of my graphics card I had two DVI, a HDMI and two active display ports. Now uh, basically I had the two DVI set up and one HDMI. And I was wondering why will this not work on my third screen? No matter what the combination of the different cables that I put around was, it just did not want to work. And this is the simple answer. Basically for AMD, iFinity, any sort of triple screen, any more than two screens on an AMD card, you need, 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 need an active display port. There's a load of techie science as to why, but to be honest, it does not matter. You need an active display port running at least one of the screens. Now, uh, basically, a lot of uh, PCs or well, no, a lot of monitors or TVs will not have a, uh, a display port, uh, basically, for plugging in the, uh, the active display port. So, basically, what you actually need is you need an active display port adapter. Now, you cannot just have any sort of display port adapter because there are two sorts there are active and there are passive adapters. So basically a passive uh, adapter will not work. It basically, uh, some techie science to it that you don't really need to know, uh, but at the end of the day what it does is it doesn't actually transfer all the signal, basically the power it needs to to get to the, triple sc uh, to the third screen to basically run more than two screens. So what you actually need is you need an active DisplayPort adapter. Now what this actually does is it kind of gives it enough power to run the third screen. It's basically how I'm going to put it, because otherwise then I'm going to have to go into loads of detail and you really don't want to know, trust me. So basically what you need is you need an active display port adapter. Now, I searched and scoured the market for ages and miles, and I found across one that actually was quite cheap. Basically, when looking at these, basically if you wanted to run a kind of AMD iFinity setup a little, a few years back, you were looking at spending 80 to 100 pound on a freaking adapter. What? But luckily enough, StarTech have brought along a cheaper one, and trust me guys, it works just as well. I've been running this now for ages and ages and ages. I actually got in contact with StarTech to do some reviews, and I basically said, wow, well, guys, I actually already have a product. And they're like, well, we'll make a video on it, we'll see how you do. So basically, I'm doing this one video, I'm also going to do a review on the actual product itself, but I obviously know that when I was searching on YouTube and stuff, I couldn't really find an answer to this question of why my display things wouldn't work. I actually had to search so many forums and stuff, it was so confusing. So this one simple video is going to tell you exactly why. So basically, this is what you need. Let me uh, let me bring this forward, and let me go for a cheeky zoom up on the screen, and hopefully it will uh, give you a little bit more uh, information on um, why it is not working for you guys. So basically, these right here, these are display ports. These are active display port adapters that StarTech do, and uh, they do ones ranging from the normal display port to the DVI. You get the normal display port to HDMI. Uh, you've then got the display port to the mini. Uh, well, you've got the mini display port to DVI, your mini display port to HDMI, which is the one that I have, and vice versa. You have loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of different combinations, all around about the £30 mark. So, therefore, you are saving basically 30 40 quid on getting one of these active display port adapters, which is much, much better. Otherwise, you'd be looking at not being able to run your triple screens or spending £80, £90 pound on running your triple screens. So, it's 30 quid. I really wasn't too fussed because I really, really wanted to get in and just use my triple screens. I was so gutted when I was using for like a week this like no triple screens. I was just using two screens. I had one screen sat in there to the right and it was just like, oh, why? Why? And there is nothing worse guys than right, picture this ready. Picture of this. Let me uh, get a better focus. Alright, so there we go, we have triple screens. Now uh, this is what's gonna happen if you don't have an active display port adapter. Oh, oh and now we just have two screens and there we go, that's that's a hundred pound screen on the right there, just just wasted. So yeah, oh actually 250. But it doesn't matter. Um, so you need an active display port adapter, guys, and that is pretty much as simple as I can put it. These are the cheapest ones on the market at the moment, so <laughs> there's not much else to it, guys. Check them out. So I hope this has kind of answered your uh, your questions as to why the hell won't my triple screens work on AMD when my friend has an Nvidia card and all he has to do is plug it in. Screw you, Nvidia. AMD for the win. Um, so there we go guys, I want to say thank you very much, I hope you have enjoyed this video, get yourself an active display port adapter and enjoy iFinity for what it's worth. Thank you very much guys, I will see you guys next time. Bye.